Hello. Uh, so my first question is, could you please introduce yourself and describe in three sentences the policy you're presenting here to Zero Project Conference? Yes. Um, my name's Therese Campbell. I'm chairman of the Work Focus Group. We're a major privately owned business in the um, employment services sector in Australia. We exist to provide a real and measurable impact on the employment of people with disabilities um, and injury, illness, mental health issues across Australia. One of the services we deliver is job access, which we do on behalf of the Australian Government, which is one of the um, policies or practices that I'm here to talk about. So what is this uh, job access program about, like in, in, in brief? Um, job access is a one-stop shop for all information and advice related to the employment of people with disabilities. It exists to really help employers, people with disabilities and co-workers to remove barriers to employing someone with a disability. We, it's a free information and advice service and we also provide funding for adjustments that may be required in the workplace in order for the person to do their job. And uh, according to you, um, what are the three reasons to make this policy a success or this program? Well, I think that um, we, ha you know, as an example in Australia, we have now, since its inception six years ago, we have assisted with more than 140,000 inquiries. We've also managed more than 20,000 applications for funding for adjustments in the workplace. All of these things are removing barriers to employing people with disability, making it easier for employers to say yes. Um, we've conducted more than 6,500 workplace assessments. So from an aids and equipment perspective, we know what works in what work environment. And I think that, that knowledge and expertise is very leverageable and the service itself could be well replicated in other countries. So, um, uh, talking about replication in other countries, what are the, the main obstacles you see or the things to be aware of? Um, I guess the major challenge is the extent to which the government is willing to fund a program like this. We actually had modelled the program initially on the job accommodation network from the states. Um, we have taken some of the positive learnings from that, applied it in Australia. One of the key differences we have in Australia is that we actually provide funding for modifications in the workplace. So I guess in terms of obstacles, that would be the main one. Um, I don't really see a lot of obstacles in applying the service elsewhere. Um, um, talking about the Zero Project Conference, what is your impression so far and what would be your wish for the future? I think the Zero um, Conference is a great knowledge sharing opportunity. I love the concept of not reinventing the wheel and I guess my hope is that we can really leverage the practices and policies that are working around the world into other you know, sharing that knowledge base and applying them to really impact on employment of people with disability. Thank you so much.